You know, some people out there, they still do read the Orlando Sentinel. I've been reading the Orlando Sentinel newspaper since fourth grade. That's very, a lot of years. Very impressive. And I sometimes I wonder how long the Orlando Sentinel will continue to throw. How practical is it to throw a newspaper in my driveway every morning? But I got to say, I love reading the newspaper and reading coffee, drinking coffee every morning. I hope for you they continue it forever. I hope. <laughs> at least, you know, my lifetime, another 30 or 40 years. <laughs> but I do want to say this little story about this. When I was reading the newspaper in fourth grade, the Orlando Sentinel, fourth grade, right? I'd come home and I'd op- open up the newspaper and there would be articles or be holes in the newspaper i didn't really know anything about it i didn't you know i just keep on turn the page you know read the next story and it wasn't till i was an adult when my mom told me yeah tom there was all kinds of scandals happening with parents of your friends and i didn't want you to read about the scandals, so i would cut out those articles <laughs> i have to say i <laughs> orlando that, was a small town back then <laughs> yeah but you know that was a very smart idea of your mom but it, I, I really have to say, because, you know, think about it. It, it. For her, the easiest way to handle it is you just don't see it. She just cuts the cuts that out. Nothing needs to be said. You keep reading the sentence. All is good. <laughs> I agree. Thank you. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a few minutes. You're listening to WDBO.